Not a, it's a, not a scam. It's a legend call. Social Security Administration Department, how can I help you? Yes, I got a voicemail to call this number. Something when my Social Security acti illegal activity had okay. set. Okay, okay. Officer, okay. you're talking with Officer Jennifer Walker Jennifer from the Walker. Investigation Department. Yeah, okay. Okay. Jennifer Walker, okay? Walker, okay. And my batch ID number is whoa, whoa, 4025. Jennifer, slow down. Slow, oh, Jennifer, slow okay. down, please. I can already write so Jennifer fast. Jennifer okay, okay, just write it down then. It's 4025. Six six. Six six. Okay. Yeah, this is my batch ID number. Okay. So, sir, when you yeah, and I'm calling from the investigation department of Social Security. Okay. So, sir, when you receive a call from us, do you receive any kind of ID number, sir, like a case ID number? No, no, no. I didn't hear no. one. No. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sir. Then, if that is the situation, then can I have your first name and the last name, sir? in order to pull up your file and after that I will explain you what this case is all about. Just yeah. verify me your first name and last name. First name is Mike, M-I-K-E, last name Litt, L-I-T-T, -T, Mike Litt. Okay, it's Mike Litt, is it correct? Yes. Okay, okay, Mr. Mike, can you verify your current zip code number also, your area zip code number, okay? 13118, One, 13118. One, 13118, is it correct? That's correct. Okay. Okay, Mr. Michael. Okay, Mr. Mike. The reason why we are trying to contact you today is regarding about your social security number. Okay. That your social security number have been compromised in the state of Texas by doing fraudulent activities. Uh -huh. And because of that reason, from the federal government, we have got an order to suspend your social number at the right moment. What so, right Mr. Moment? Mike, do you have... Right moment, miss. We are getting an information, okay? We got an order to suspend your social number. Well, okay, I, I don't know how you can do that. Uh, that's what I live on. Social Security, I'm retired. Yes, sir. I'm retired. I, yeah. Okay, are you retired? Okay. Okay, yeah. Mr. Michael. Okay, Mr. Mike. First of all, let me just go ahead and explain you, okay? Okay. Let me give you all the information. What happening with your social number? Okay. But before that, as I already told you that this case file is regarding about your social security number. Right. So just for the verification proof, can you verify only the last four digit number of your social? Only the last four? One four six three. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mike, where are you right now? In which state? Can you tell me the state name? Where do you live right now? Yes, I can tell you. New York. Okay, it's New York. Is it correct? New York State, yes. Not New York okay, City, okay. New York State. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying yeah. New York State. I'm right. not saying city, okay? Okay, I'm, okay, okay. Okay, I'm up. Okay, Mr. Mike, then now I will go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name, okay? Now I'm going to explain okay. you yes. what happened with your social security number. So okay. that's why just listen to me carefully. Uh, okay. okay, Mr. Mike, before we move any further, I just want to ask you questions that have you ever been in the state of Texas? Texas, yes. I used to uh, work down there years ago. I used to work. Okay, when, used is to your, work, when is the last time? Oh, gee, it, when was is back, the last time? it was back in the 80s. I worked a fishing boat out of Galveston. Uh, and uh, okay, okay. I worked a bait station there. And finally, I worked my way up to the master baiter. And I was the master baiter okay, on the SS Gorton. We used to fish for okay, the Gorton's okay. fishermen. Okay, I got it. I got it, okay. Mr. Mike. Okay, Mr. Mike, why I'm asking you this question is because we found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas, and the car contains some blood as well as some amount of drugs inside the car. Oh, what After kind the of drugs? Oh. Yeah, it's what uh, like it's a model of car for a white Toyota Corolla 2015 model car. Oh. So, do you have a white Toyota car? No, I got a Ford F-150. It's a four by four. Okay. Three. Okay. I got to raise Look, three inches. It's pretty good. It'll go anywhere. This my, Mr. Mike, Mr. Mike, yeah. first of all, just listen to me, okay? okay. Just I listen am. to me. Will you ask me to, a question? I okay. need to explain you. Okay, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I just asked you, but yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead. And Mr. Mike, in that car, we found like some blood as well as some amount of drugs inside the car. After the investigation, 
So we found that the car was rented under your name with your personal information. And we even uh. found like two address was linked with the title of the vehicle. So one of the address lead us to the state of Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. to the city of Raleigh. Raleigh. Yeah, it was an apartment operated by the US. I'm in New York. Yeah. I don't know anybody yeah, in Raleigh, I, Raleigh, Pennsylvania. I know. Mr. Mr. Mike, let yeah, me just ahead. complete my... Uh, okay, go okay. ahead. Complete yourself. I stayed at an apartment huh? which was read by the U.S. Marshal, okay. but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. But uh. they managed to recover like eight to nine pounds of cocaine and some documentations Ooh. from financial institutes like Chase Bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank, Capital One, City Bank and etc. City Bank, that's my bank. Yeah. Okay, okay. And this anti-paperwork has your name on it, and thousands and thousands of dollars have been rightly transferred from those bank accounts, both okay. locally and internationally. Okay. So we sort of All right. Oh, just hang on, hang on, hang on, Jennifer, hang on, so hang on, hang on. Let that fucking dog out, will ya? Eddie, let that fucking dog out. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm back. Okay, Mr. Mike, I'm saying that this entire paperwork has your name on it, okay. and thousands and thousands of dollars have been rightly transferred from those bank accounts, both locally and internationally. So this totally seems suspicious to us. So that is the reason we have the Social Security Administration of Texas as file a case against you for drug trafficking, as well as for money laundering. Wait, well, against so, me? Mr. Mike, me? Yes. Me? It's against you because, yeah. As I already told you that your social security number have been compromised in the state of Texas. Yeah, but it wasn't me. Fraud like Pardon? I'm in New York. It wasn't me. Okay, you 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 are saying that you are not the one who is involved on those activities. Is it correct? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay Mr. Mike, then when you've been in the state of Texas, did you ever rent a car under your name then? No, I had my own car when I was working the fishing boat down there. You know, we make good money being the masturbator, so I bought a car while I was down there. But then when I came okay, back to okay. New York, I sold it. And uh, when I came back up here, of course, they bought the F-150, 4x4. Okay, then right, right now, do you have any vehicle which is registered under your name then? Yeah, I got the Ford F-150, 4x4. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Okay. Mike, right now, are you employee or unemployed? Or like well, you are retired? I'm retired from the Masturbators Union, yes. I was the Masturbator, but I had I retired. I'm 71. I can't, I can't be yeah, on yeah, the I know board that, masturbating okay. anymore, yes. Okay. okay. Okay, Mr. Mike, as I already told you that in the state of Pennsylvania, have you ever been in the state of Pennsylvania then? Oh, yes. I In Pennsylvania, I worked, but it was outside of Philadelphia. I worked in a donut shop there. Okay, okay. Look, Mr. Mike, why I'm asking you this question is because in the state of Pennsylvania, we found like some documentations from financial institutes like Chase Bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank, Capital One, City Bank, City Bank, Bank, that's Central my bank, Central. yes. City yeah. Bank is my bank, I told you that. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. asking you that, Mr. Mike. Is it true that you have like multiple bank account, like 15 bank account, which is true, linked with your social number? Is it true that you have multiple well, bank account, like true. 15 bank account? Why would that be true, ma'am? I got one bank I deal with, Citibank. I got a checking account and a savings account. That's it. I don't have okay, 15. Bank. I'm retired. You, you, I don't have all that many okay, money. Okay. okay, you mean to say that you have only one bank account, which is linked with your social number, is Citibank only? And you bank have a taking and account. Oh, I also okay, have okay. the double D. I got the double D there too, the double D account at Titty Bank. But that's a separate thing. Like it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Mike, can you tell me that in the checking, do you have an amount of like fifty thousand dollars or more than that? Because yesterday just yesterday they had they have been transferred like fifty thousand dollars from each bank account, okay? So right now we just need to differentiate that this city bank is truly belong to you or not. So can you tell me in that checking, do you have an amount of like $50,000 or oh, more no. than that? I'm retired. I don't have $50,000. So can you tell me what is the approximate amount do you have? Like a rough amount, okay? Probably in 500, account? 500 bucks. 500. Okay. What about in saving then? What is the ex approximate amount do you have? Probably 1200 maybe 1200 Okay. Then you say that you have 
How many account do you have, Mr. Mike? It's you have only one bank account. It's Citibank. Is it correct? Well, I got checking the savings and the double D. Okay, it's like two checking and two saving. Is it correct? No, 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 no. It's one checking, one savings, one double D. One double D. Is it correct? Right. It's it, that's a good okay. account there, the double D. They really give you uh, a nip oh, of that's... a nip of the. Uh, interest rate there i mean that's why i put it in there. okay can you can you tell me in that one in one double d do you have any money like right now or not like what is the approximate amount do you have oh in no it's, a, it's a, yeah it's a full cup in the double d i got probably two thousand dollars in there like probably like two thousand dollars is it correct yes yes okay okay mr michael then do you have any credit card also do you have any credit card i got one mastercard with uh City Bank, yes. Okay, you have a debit card for City no, Bank, is it correct? I got a debit card and a credit card from Titty Bank, yes. Okay, you have a credit card for City Bank, is it correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mike, can you can you tell me in that credit card for City Bank, what is the approximate like? What is the limit of your credit card? Five thousand. Okay, then. Can you tell me that how much did you owe right now? Like, uh, how just, uh, much, how just, much is I don't know, boy. Just a, just a minute. Eddie, Eddie. You get back outside, I said. You're not supposed to have him in the house. Okay, I'm back. It's okay, it's okay, Mr. Mike. Uh, my Mr. cousin, Mike, my you... cousin Eddie, he lets a duck in the house. He thinks it's a pet. Okay, okay. Mr. Mike, I'm saying that from 5,000, what is the available balance do you have, like, from the 5,000 limit, how much is the amount you have used already, okay? Oh, I've used probably 3,000. I probably got 2,000 left on the card. Okay, you will be left out like 2,000. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Mike, then can, can you verify your phone number once again? Can you verify your cell phone number? My cell phone number or my house number? Yeah, just give me both two again. If you have a cell phone number also, just give me. And if you have a house number also, just give me, okay? Okay, it's 458-217-2030. And then this the is your cell phone number? Yes, and then the other one is... Can you go slowly? 31575. Okay, it's three. Is it correct? Right. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mike. Right now, with whom are you living? Like, are you living in your own house or are you living in a rented place? No, I live in a senior center. Pardon? It's a senior living facility. It's very nice. Okay, okay. That's where I'll okay, see where I'll you... see there's old people here. Okay, then with whom, like, with whom did you live? Like, it's your old the senior citizen? Yeah, old senior citizens. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mike, what did you say when you've been in the said when, when you live in said it, what did you do, like, what is your job title? My job? I'm retired. No, 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 not now. When you've been in the set of Texas, at oh, that time oh, you are working. I worked on the fishing boat, I told you, and I was in charge of the bait station, and then I worked my way up to a master baiter on the fishing boat, the SS Gorton. Okay, okay. They used to call me the Gorton Fisherman. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mike, you say that right now do you, you have a vehicle with you right now, is it correct? I got a Ford F-154 by 4. Okay, it's lifted okay. probably okay, 3 Mr. inches, 3 inches, 20 inch wheels on it. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, Mr. Kay. Mike, then do you have any investment plan like 401k account or IRA account? Nah. I got, I got a small account with the uh, Master Baiters Credit Union, but it's from through the union, so I don't know how much is in. I never look at it. I don't even know how much is in there. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, yeah. Okay, Mr. Mike, as you already told me that you are not the one who is doing those no. activities. No, I'm not. So in order to prove, yeah, in order to prove okay. your initiation, in order to resolve this case, car, case file, what I'm going to do is that now I'm going to transfer this call to my senior officer, okay? Oh, jeez, I got to talk to somebody else? Oh, yeah, because... I, I have to get going here, ma'am. I got to get down in the park. Okay, Pardon? go ahead. I, I was going down in the park with my friend. Watched the okay, panties run by, but I guess I can wait. It's okay. It's, uh, 
It's okay if you want to go to your friend also in Tegu, you, you want to go to the park also, you can just go ahead and go there, okay? After when you came back, you can call us back, Mr. Mike. Uh, let's get it over with now. I, I The park can wait. I want to get this over with, ma'am. We're not able to take your call right now. Goodbye. Sorry, but your call cannot be completed.